What is going on everybody? It's Medicosis Perfect Nails where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In the last videos we talked about group B Streptococcus which is Streptococcus egalactiae. We also talked about Streptococcus angiosus and Streptococcus dysgalactiae. Today's topic is Streptococcus veridans, dentist action. Bacteremia action, subacute bacterial endocarditis action. Why they call it veridans? Because the word verd or vert means green. Oh, they are alpha hemolytic and they leave a green pigment. This is my playlist. Please watch these videos in order. Let's review. We're talking about the veridans group of streptococci. So they are gram positive cocci catalase negative alpha hemolytic which means partial hemolysis with a green pigment i might add they are resistant to uptoken antibiotic which means if you add uptoken it's not gonna kill the viridans how about adding bile it's not gonna dissolve the viridans they are resistant to uptoken and resistant to bile and now you know why we call them viridans how about bovis well it's called bovis because bovine Let's review the methods to classify streptococci. You can classify them based on serology, this is the Lansfield group classification, or based on their hemolysis. When I add them to blood agar, what happens? It could be no hemolysis, that's called gamma. Could be partial hemolysis, that's alpha. Or complete hemolysis, that's beta. Very dense cause partial hemolysis. We had many videos about streptococcus pyogenes, we had one previous video about Streptococcus egalactiae, and in the last video we talked about the angiosis versus the dysgalactiae. That's why you should watch my videos in order, please. Because knowledge is contextual and integrative. What does Streptococcus pyogenes cause? Pus. Pus on my skin, pyoderma. Pus in my pharynx, tonsillitis, pharyngitis, strep throat, etc. And then we have immunological complications, including the famous rheumatic fever and the bloody post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, itis, itic, nephritic syndrome with blood in the urine. How about streptococcus egalactia, neonatal sepsis, neonatal meningitis, neonatal pneumonia. Where did the baby get it from? From mommy. Streptococcus egalactia colonizes the vaginal canal. Streptococcus dysgalactia can cause pharyngitis, and sometimes complicated with post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, but never with rheumatic fever. How about streptococcus angiosus, abscess? Streptococcus mutans, mutatis mutandis, always changing. Oh, mutations, yeah, think of a freaking Frankenstein dentist. Dental caries can have streptococcus mutans before you know it, bacteremia. How about streptococcus mitis, remember my mighty heart, bacteremia? and then subacute bacterial endocarditis. Why do they call it mitis? They thought, mistakenly, that it causes mild disease. Nothing could be further from the truth. It can cause a horrible disease. Next, the non-classified, such as Streptococcus suis or sui, sui, CNS. You name it, meningitis, check. Encephalitis, check. Leave this and go to my blood, bacteremia, check. All over my body, toxemia, also check. Now let's talk about the viridans group of streptococci. They include gazillion organisms. Here are the famous ones. Streptococcus angiosus, the abscess, the oropharynx, and the peritoneal infections. Abscess on my skin and abscess in my brain. Mitis, the mighty heart, subacute bacterial endocarditis after the bacteremia. How about mutants? Mutants is the mutating dentist. Think of dental caries and bacteremia. How about Streptococcus salivarius? Saliva, all right, subacute bacteria endocarditis. Streptococcus bovis. I like some bovis, bovis. This is bacteremia associated with cancer anywhere in your gastrointestinal system, including colon cancer, liver cancer, etc. This is a very common exam question. Next, Streptococcus suis, CNS, meningitis, encephalitis, and Streptococcal toxic shock syndrome. What are these? All of these are diseases that can be caused by the very dense group of Streptococci. Please pause and review. Let's go, Streptococcus viridans, gram positive, catalase negative, coagulase negative, alpha hemolytic, 
and it's a streptococcus, so gram-positive cocci arranged in chains. It colonizes the oropharynx. Of course, this is the story of the dentist, GI and the GU tract. Don't forget my streptococcus bovis, which is part of the very dense group of streptococci. I know that the classification is very confusing. Believe it or not, Streptococcus bovis is a subtype of the very dense group, and Streptococcus pneumoniae, the pneumococci, are subtypes of Streptococcus mitis, which is a subtype of very dense group Streptococci. What in the world? What are the diseases caused by viridans? We just talked about them. How to diagnose it? Let's go. Put it on a blood agar. Alpha hemolysis. Partial hemolysis with green pigment. That's why it's a viridans. By the way, some of these can give you no hemolysis. So gamma hemolytic. Let me add optoken antibiotic. Well, it's not gonna kill the bacteria. Let me add bile. It's not gonna kill the bacteria. They are resistant to optoken and resistant to bile. What kind of culture media do they prefer? Nutritionally fastidious, complex media. Supplemented by and augmented by. Supplemented by blood products, augmented by carbon dioxide. How much carbon dioxide is there in the atmosphere? Percentage-wise, it's about 0.04% or something like that. All right, see this? See how tiny this is? You'll increase this a lot. 5% to 10%. And you put this in the medium. Next, how should I treat? Well, ask yourself, are they penicillin sensitive or penicillin resistant? Many of these doofuses are penicillin sensitive. So you give penicillin. Or better, you combine penicillin with an aminoglycoside. Why is the combination good? You get more desired effect, but everything has a trade-off. You also get more side effects. What do you mean by desired effect? You are benefiting from the coverage of penicillin and the coverage of aminoglycoside. Moreover, when you combine two drugs together, you're decreasing the risk of resistance. I don't get it. Well, this is just math. Imagine that by giving penicillin alone, the risk that the viridans will develop resistance is 1 in 10,000. Just like that. All right. And suppose that by giving aminoglycosides alone, the risk of developing resistance is 1 over 10,000. Now, what is the risk that the viridans will become resistant if I give a combo, a combination antibiotics? How do you do it? You multiply the two ratios. It's 1 over 10,000 times 1 over 10,000, which will give you 1 in 100 million Wow, so the risk that the stripped viridans will develop resistant to this combination therapy is 1 in 100 million cases. Of course, these are theoretical, hypothetical numbers. But you get the point. Combining antibiotics lowers the risk of developing resistance to the antibiotics. What if the viridans is penicillin resistant? Then give cephalosporin or a vancomycin. Like my red man in a van, vancomycin. Why red man? Because vancomycin can cause red man syndrome. Hey, medicosis, why did you write aminoglycosides like this? Because they are nephrotoxic and ototoxic. Toxic to your kidneys, toxic to your ear. And why do you add a negative inside the O? Because they do not cover gram negatives. They only cover gram positives. And why do you put O2? Because they only work for aerobic organisms. They do not cover anaerobic. Aminoglycosides need oxygen in order to work. Let's review very dense group streptococci from my favorite website, Picmonic. Let's go! Streptococcus viridans. Here is a stripper vampire at the dentist office. Gram positive. Here is the angel. Cocci. Cockide. Catalase negative, negative cat. Alpha hemolytic with green pigment. Optokin resistant. Bile resistant. They are part of the normal flora of the oropharynx and they can make dextran from sucrose. Diseases. Verdens group can cause dental caries and subacute bacterial endocarditis. How about Streptococcus bovis? This is group D streptococci. Here is the daisy. They are catalase negative, negative cat. Gram positive cocci. They do not grow if you add salt. Salt is gonna kill them. 
Diseases include endocarditis and bacteremia associated with GI cancer, such as colorectal cancer and liver cancer. Please pause and review. Here is Streptococcus viridans, remember the dentist, and Streptococcus bovis, remember colorectal cancer. And one last review. If you want to be an excellent student, bring a piece of paper and write everything here down. Bonus point if you can recall this from memory. If you want more tricks about antibiotics like the red man in the van and my clindamycin nun, check out my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. It will teach you about antibacterials, antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic medications. And speaking of heart disease, you can master cardiac pharmacology by downloading my cardiac pharmacology course at medicosisperfectionalist.com to learn about antiarrhythmics, antihyperlipidemics, antihypertensives, detoxin, and others. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.